My name is Tom Helmer, and I wish to thank you for attending the dedication of Manitou Hassanash Preserve. Large-scale safeguarding of history, keeping intact a 14-acre ceremonial stone landscape is a rare accomplishment today. Now you have seen it for yourself. How did this happen? Being involved since the beginning, I want to pass along what we did right to help you succeed in your own preservation efforts and my big mistake to help guide you with the problems that you will face. First, you need someone to teach you to see the Narragansett presence in the forest. For generations of us in Hopkinton, that person was Bob Miner. Bob, could you please stand up and receive our thanks? Then you need accurate knowledge of the indigenous culture. Loren Spears and her mother, Dawn Dove, who participated with Doug at the dedication ceremony, they're from the national award-winning Tomaquag Museum in Exeter. Now, I don't see Dawn here, but she's one of the people we want to acknowledge or thanks her and Loren. And we'll just leave it like that. And finally, you have to share what you learn, just like Bob and Dawn shared with us. Network among yourselves. No one individual has all the pieces to the puzzle, and you can't predict who will say the timely words that start big things in motion. In our case, Astrid Muir said to me, there is something extraordinary I want you to see. Astrid guided Bob and myself up to the jaw-dropping wander zone. And earlier, you may have felt exactly as we did when you encountered this for your first time. Astrid led us there, and then she asked us if there was a way to save the property. Its sale as subdivided lots was going to be approved by the planning board in just eight days. That was a busy eight days for us, particularly Harvey Buford, chairman of the town's conservation commission, and Rick Prescott, chairman of the historic district commission. But Astrid's crazy idea of snatching that land back from the bulldozers, it came true. Her desire to save that property brings us from all over to be here today. Hi, Brewer. They, you get to know the people you hike with. They, her desire brings us all here today. Astrid, could you please stand up and receive our thanks? I thought it was impossible. Eight days, come on. But I spoke with Harvey and showed him the photos that you saw in the gallery. Harvey called Steve DeMarzo, the Rhode Island, um, the Rhode Island Grand Assaulted Puba for Rhode Island, for Nero. That's it. They, and he sees this stuff, and the first thing you know, he calls Terry DeVoe way up in Nova Scotia, and then the next thing you know, Terry's calling me pledging NERA to help us with our preservation efforts. And that is why networking, even in a hopeless cause, is important. NERA flooded Town Hall with letters. Our local outdoorsy group showed up for the meeting, and I enthusiastically gave Harvey packets of 20 photos each to give to each board member before their meeting began, and then later it turned into public comment in that period. Some spoke against preservation. 
publicly encouraged property owners to destroy those rock piles. Whoever took those photos was denounced as despicable. <laughs> I followed that one to the microphone. And with a smile, introduced myself as Mr. Despicable. <laughs> I defused tension by saying, before I address the photos, let me tell you why it's important to preserve Brightman Hill. And all but one listened attentively. The lesson for you is this. You will also face hostility. Don't lose your cool over the name-calling small stuff. You keep in mind the big picture. Doug Harris closed the meeting with the planning board hanging on his every word, and they postponed their approval vote and scheduled their next meeting as a site walk up on Brightman Hill where we walk today. And the landscape certainly spoke to them. The sale then went forward, but with new protective restrictions, giving us more time. We had more to do if we wanted to actually save the land. Permanent protection comes from ownership of the site. Astrid went door to door and raised $5,000. The Hopkinton Land Trust got behind the town purchasing all 14 acres that were for sale of the ceremonial landscape. And the site was ours. And that was what we did right. Here's the mistake that could have stopped the whole process right at the beginning. I blundered by giving Harvey those photos as all evidence has to be submitted to town committees 14 days prior. The town let me slide, but my friend Harvey was almost fired, which brings up the final thing you need to somehow get working in your town. It's far more important to be fortunate than it is to be perfect. And today, we all walk together, together in Manitou, Hassanash, Preserve. But now it's time to consider the future of that remarkable place. Since the spring, we have worked closely with the Narragansett tribe to utilize new streamlined federal procedures when applying to the National Register of Historic Places for Manitou Hassanash Preserve's ceremonial stone landscape. The tribes now define what is a CSL. If the Hopkinton Land Trust and the Narragansett Tribe and the other three members con uh, joining with the Narragansetts request recognition for the property's historic value, this application is reviewed by the state's historical preservation officer. If he agrees that the, the property meets the guidelines, then it moves up to the federal level for nomination as a national historic place. Now, Doug Harris already spoke of this, and he have, may, may have more to add later in his part, but I was asked to tell you that this process is advancing to favorable responses locally and on up the line. We are optimistic that Manitou Hassanash Preserve will be the first ceremonial stone landscape registered as a national historic place located east of the Mississippi River. I was going to ask you if you agree with that, but now I'm saving some time in my talk. <laughs> We are on the doorstep of national recognition because so many individuals did their part to save this site from inevitable development 
And many of those individuals are sitting here in this room today. But now it's your turn to help us. We will present our guest register as evidence that there is a large, enthusiastic, energized group who are interested in this aspect of history. As of now, there's more people sitting in here than have signed the book, not counting the staff. That's not going to impress the Feds. Please, before you leave, help us. Help us by each one of you here signing the guest book, which is over at the map table. Please, adding all our names together can help us make this happen. And save your CSL day programs, because you might want to come back to Hopkinton if you can find it again. <laughs> And, and visit the special Manitou Hassanash Preserve that you all helped get registered as a National Historic Place. <laughs> Steve DeMarzo and Todd Carden teamed up to document thousands of Manitou Hassanash in Hopkinton. Steve will speak about how do you find and document woodland sites. Steve DeMarzo, please.